Prior to HTML5, when you added a video to your web page, you did so through a particular plugin like QuickTime or Flash, but maybe not everyone that visits your web page has that particular plugin installed or updated on their browser. They would then be prompted to install or update their plugin. Not everyone would do that and many would just simply move on to another website. HTML5 solves that issue with the use of the video tag. But after you see this video, you may decide to stick with the old way, at least for now. The current problem with adding video to your HTML5 web page is that all browsers are not recognizing all video formats. The way things are at this time is if you want a majority of the major browsers to play your video, then you have to add all the various video formats that the different browsers recognize. Setting this up is not difficult at all, as you'll see here in a second. The problem, as I see it, is that instead of having one MP4 video file at, say, 25 or 50 megabytes, or however big it is, now I have to have multiple video formats at roughly the same size. That will put a sizable increase in my online video hosting costs. Now, I have several formats of the same video that I'm going to use in making this HTML5 web page demo. Let's go ahead and have a look at that folder real quick. Now this is the HTML page right here and here are four video formats that are the same exact video and it's only about what 20 seconds in length there. Now you can see the MP4 is about 214k and the WebM format of the same video is 407k, almost twice the size. Now remember this is an 18 second video and if you have multiple formats like the MP4, maybe the OGG and the WebM, maybe even the MOV as well for the H.264 formats, then you are going to be hosting a lot of videos. So that is something you want to keep in mind. Now here's a couple of websites I want to point out to you as far as seeing which browsers work with which formats, HTML5test.com. Now, as a web developer, you should already have several of the major browsers installed on your computer anyway, at least Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. I'd also include Safari and Opera, but that's totally up to you. And with those installs, you can test any web page. You can test all of your web-related items to see how they would look on those particular browsers. And if on some of your web pages you have some type of software, like Google Analytics, for example, that tells you the browser use of the visitors popping over to your website, then that might also give you an idea as to which browsers you should be focusing on for your videos to be played on. Anyway, test this out on your browsers. And if you come on down here, right up close to the top, we've got the video format here. And this tells us what formats that the Chrome browser currently supports. And I say currently because they're constantly updating their browsers, likewise with Firefox, likewise with Internet Explorer and so on. So if you were to bookmark this site in your browser, come on back to it every now and then, especially right after you have an update that takes place. See if any of these have changed from the red X to a green check mark. Now, just seeing this here, the Chrome browser supports all of these guys here. A couple other sites, Zamzar and OnlineConvert.com are two great sites because they're not requiring you to download software in order to convert your file formats from say the MP4 that you have to an OGG that you don't have and might need. How these work, pretty simple. You choose the file from your computer, you decide on which format you wanna convert it to, enter your email address, click on convert, it'll send you an email whenever the conversion has taken place. And in that email is the download link for your converted file. Now, online-convert.com, pretty similar, only they don't send you an email. They convert it and then supply you with a download link right here on the site. So for example, you go over here to the video converter. You can see they've got all kinds of converters here, just like Zamzar does. Choose what you want to convert it to. Let's say you want to convert it to OGG. This then pops up, come on down here, choose the file from your computer or enter the URL of the file you want to convert. Make any changes here that you want, click on convert file. It'll go through the process and depending upon how large the file is that you are converting will depend on how quickly they get the job done. And then boom, the page changes and you've got the download link right there. Now let's take a look at that code. I'm using the Komodo editor here, but you can do the same thing with in most any editor. Inside the body tag here is our content. And inside that content, we've got our video. 
we've got the opening video tag and inside of that opening video tag we've got a, a couple of attributes the main one is the controls attribute and that tells the browser to add the play pause fast forward controls whatever controls there are on that particular player that that browser has this is what brings in those controls and I went ahead and added an additional attribute autoplay to make it autoplay whenever the browser opens up and then I added these to further design the way that video appears you don't have to have these these are not default by default you just have the opening video tag but you also have to add the controls attribute in order for the controls to show up but these here you don't have to have but the video that I've got right here is by default 640 by 480 so I added the width and height attributes along with these values to bring it down in size and then as far as adding the actual video you've got the source tag and then the source equals attribute with the values equaling the file name and the format name so the file name in this example is movie and the format here is the webm now after you have in the file name you have the close double quotes space then you have to put in the type attribute and that's type equals open double quotes and then inside of there you have to have the word video forward slash and then the type of format just like here we have webm here it needs to be webm here we have mp4 this needs to be video slash mp4 and here we have ogg this one needs to be the type equals video slash ogg now having these three in there we're covering pretty much all the bases. We could probably get by with just these top two. And in addition to that, I also have this down here in case whatever browser they're using does not support any of these. They're not just gonna get a blank page. They'll get a notice saying, your browser does not support the HTML5 video tag. So let's go ahead and preview this in our browser. Let's try Chrome. There we are. And and let's try Safari. As you can see here, the player is a little different depending upon the browser it's playing in. And that's pretty much it. You now have the tools needed to add videos using the HTML5 video tag in your HTML5 web pages. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.